Hey guys, welcome back. A new incremental update is rolling out for OnePlus 8 series. Right now we have only stable channel available for both the devices. So we have the update rolling out for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro and the update size is 185 MB which brings lots of bug fixes, tons of improvements to system, messaging app, camera, network and game space. Right now I have Oxygen OS stable version which is 10.5.6. For those guys who haven't received the update, I'll leave a direct link in the description below. You can download those files and update your device manually. So as I have already received, let's install it now. Once the installation process is completed, you can reboot your device. Device have been successfully updated and booted up. Let me show you the software information. Here you can see Oxygen OS build is now 10.5.8 under Android version, Android version is 10 and the security patch is 1st May 2020. After updating the device, it's been almost 24 hours I've been using this latest update. We'll show you how much battery improvements and performance improvements have been made. As we all know that OnePlus 8 series is new in market, so we won't get much of new features. There will be lots of optimizations and improvements to the current OS. So directly talking about the change logs of latest update, which is 10.5.8. And here you can see a huge list of improvements under system, messaging app, camera, improvements related to network and game space application. First one it says optimize the touch and interaction experience. So here also you won't see much noticeable changes. Optimize the expanded screenshot user experience for some scenes. But next change log which is related to battery consumption. Here you will see a lots of improvement with this latest update. Which says optimize the battery consumption, performance of system, battery life extended to be longer than ever. Here they have made lots of improvement with the initial build which came out of the box. In that overnight battery drain was around 3 to 4 percent. But yesterday after updating the device I have noticed only 2% of battery drain overnight. With the previous update, I got around 7 hours of screen on time and here I've got around 7.5 hours to 8 hours of screen on time. Then they have optimized the pocket mode to reduce mistouch. If you guys are not aware about the pocket mode that can be found inside the settings, utilities and here you have the pocket mode. If it is not enabled, you can enable it. Few optimizations have been done here. Next change log, optimize the unlocking animation, making the unlock transition smoother. Yes, here you can see little bit of changes. Now unlock transition are much smoother. Then they have updated the security patch to May 2020, which I've already shown you. And at last under system, they have also updated the Google mobile services. Talking about the next change log, which is related to messaging app, which says add a delete button in the notification bar of incoming messages. Yes, they have added the delete option directly in the notification panel of messaging app. And later added keyword whitelist option in SMS blocking settings. The messages with the specified keyword will not be blocked. Previously, OnePlus added a feature of block by keyword where you can add any keyword and that specific message was blocked and now they have also added the whitelist which can be found inside the blocking settings you can add the keywords which you don't want to block talking about the next change log which is related to camera in which it says newly added h265 hev kodak to reduce video storage size yes i have tested this this doesn't reduce the video quality but the video size will be smaller so here I have two videos, one with HEVC Kodak enabled and in the second video it was disabled. So this is the video, HECV was disabled and this video resolution is 4K, duration is 10 seconds and the size of this file is 43.98 MB. And here we have the second video with HEVC Kodak enabled. This is also a 4K video of 10 seconds and in this you can see the size has been reduced and now it's 32.33 MB. If you want to activate this feature, you can open the camera application, go to settings and from here you can enable this feature which is high efficiency video. Later under camera, they have optimized the click animation for camera shutter boosting up smoothness of photo taking experience. So this is also not a noticeable change if you compare it with the previous update. But few optimizations have been done here. And last change log under camera where they have improved the shooting experience with camera and improved stability. Moving on to the next change log which is related to network which says improve the stability of communication, improve the performance and stability of Wi-Fi transfer and at last optimize network latency for online games and improved smoothness. So here also you won't have any noticeable changes. And the last change log of this update is related to game space application where they have added the epic games in game space app. So here we have the game space application where you can find a new option of epic games from where you can download games like fortnite and battle breakers so guys these were the complete change logs of latest stable version for oneplus 8 and 8 pro now let's talk about the benchmark results and these are the benchmark results this was the first initial update on which single course code 906 and multi course code 3154 with the latest update single core have scored 917 
and multi-core have scored 3351. So slight improvements here can be seen with the benchmark test. With N22 benchmark application, device scores 5,70,983. On the previous update, device scored 5,72,954. So guys, this was all about the latest update for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.